Hey there. Happy Wednesday. Um, I, if you saw the blue sets of stuff that look like this that I posted the other day, this is what we're doing today. Um, so first start out with translucent rolled out on two. I feel like that should just be standard practiced practice. Um, and then I'm using my different set of alcohol inks this time, and I'll put a link for those. Um, I've been using these more and more. For some reason, I like the, the color of them better. Um, they're a little more vibrant. Um, so I'm using those. So we're going to start out with the white. This is the set that I'm talking about. Sorry. Just looks like this. It's on Amazon. It was pretty inexpensive if I remember. It's been a little while since I got them. They're a mess right now. It does come with two whites. Um, this one is a deeper white and this one is a sinking white. The sinking white refers to working with resin. Um, it's heavier so it goes to the bottom of your piece. So if you want more white on the bottom. so But I'm just using the deeper white. <clears throat> and we are going to cover our translucent with the white and the reason that I'm doing this is because I'm going to drip the, the the rest of the colors and it won't drip um, and and spread out if it's if you just put it on the translucent by itself so you have to have some sort of base <coughs> I've got a cough again. I'm so sorry, you guys. <clears throat> so, there's that. And then next I'm going to take... This one is navy. And I'm just going to do a couple of drips. See how nicely it moves when it has a base. And then this one is Forget Me Not. That's good. And then this one is Turquoise. I'm going to do a little more of the forget-me-not in here because it's so pretty and the white kind of dried up. <coughs> I'm going to see if I can blow this around a little bit. So lastly, I do just a couple little bit areas with brown. This was called coffee. Nothing major. I am going to spread some of this because I do want everything filled in. Excuse me. So, like that, that's good. And then I'm going to take, I'll let that dry a little bit. Get my handy dandy fan. But we're going to use um, these 
they're like a turquoise colored um, foil flakes. And I'll put a link to these also. I had put them on an earlier video that I had done, um, but I'll put them on there just in case you guys didn't see. But the colors of these are really awesome too. Here's the colors, and they come with the tweezers. Um, if you can see all the colors here. <clears throat> you got your pinks, your purples, your reds, your golds, your yellows, silver, black, and then two different shades of like purple, purple violet, I guess it would be. Okay, so that looks good. So I'm just going to turn the fan off because I have done that before. Let the fan on and flakes go all over me. So what I like to do is just kind of place them randomly around. If you find a big piece like that, that's the best thing because then you can just kind of break it off over here to the side, like so, into a smaller piece. <laughs> and then you can just pick it up right from here. But just randomly place, place this around. I don't do too much, but just enough to give it a little bit of pop. Yep. I want to pop right there. Here we go. There we go. Okay, perfect. So now I'm just going to take huh, this from the last time, just kind of burnish that on there. It's still a little bit wet, but that's okay. <coughs> Okay, so we'll take it off our paper towel and next we're going to start tearing, but we're not going to do little pieces that we're going to then put together. I'm going to try to do strips. Actually, I'm going to go this way. So try to tear strips like this. And then we're going to place them back together, but overlapping just a little bit. But you don't want to obviously tear or put them back the same way. You want them to be different. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. There. So that's how I'm going to do it. Just roll it just a little bit. I am going to roll it through pasta machine on a two, which is how we originally started <coughs> with our translucent. Flip it over, make sure there's no holes like this. Kind of smush it all together a little bit. Paint still wet. And there you have it. <coughs> it's 
excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm not sick. I just had this cough. It's driving me nuts. So there is your veneer. And I am going to do... Oh, let's see. Maybe I'll do one of these with some rivets. Or eyelets, I guess they're called. Um... Kind of like that. I'm not even going to embarrass myself using that acrylic thing. I need to get new ones. They're so yucky. <clears throat> um, I'll do that. <clears throat> and, <clears throat> excuse me. I guess I should have planned these out. Sorry about the clinky clark clinky. Here we go. Do some little teardrops. Mm. I'll do them here. One there and one here. And then I think that's it for now. Um, but then, of course, you can take this and then smush it together and then, well, I'll just go ahead and do it. <coughs> what I love to do. <clears throat> I'm going to take this. We'll smush this together and let me make sure I'm in the frame because that's no fun if you can't see what I'm doing. We'll smush that. And then... I'm just going to kind of apply these. Literally just whatever you want. But it just makes a newer pattern that looks looks good. Okay. And then roll it through. And then you have a whole new... Oh, wait. Must be dirty in there. Let me try that again. There we go. So, you can just keep going and going with that. I think I'll make... I'll just make some little... Little squares with these. The colors of these are really cool. Really cool. And then I'll leave that at that. There we go. So, there you have your pieces. I'm going to fix these up. And I can't find my up. There it is. There's those. So, I'll go ahead and fix these up and bake them up. And probably resin them up and maybe even earring them up and I will show them to you when I am done see you soon I forgot I did want to show you before I bake these how once again I've showed you one time but just in case you missed it um, how I do the eyelets I actually have a different way I used um, a tweezer or a set of tweezers before but now I'm just kind of <laughs> sticking them on my finger figuring out where they go and then just going right in so it's a little bit easier for me I think to do it that way um, so yeah just stick it get it so it sticks on your finger that's the tricky part sometimes Ugh. There we go. Lick your finger and then stick it. And then, oops. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe don't lick your finger and stick it. Let's see. Of course, when I 
do it not on camera, it works perfectly fine. And you want to get them so that they look the same on each side. Which, those are close, but not great. You can always kind of smush it around to make it look like they are. And then I just take a toothpick and pop through the middle. Get that piece out. Peace out. And they just pop right out. like so and then you want to kind of press so that they go all the way through the back okay and those stay in there so you're good all right I'm gonna bake these and I will be back some of you guys have asked about how I plunge um, in ice I'm gonna attempt a moving picture here um, I'm taking these out of the oven this is how I bake my stuff. Um, uh, I'm sure you guys have seen this before, but I do two pieces of tile um, on top of each other, and then I just have some mashed up little balls of clay that I use to keep them separate. But I just take <clears throat> literally, because they're hot, and a little thing of ice water here and plunge them and it makes the colors pop more um, especially with the translucent so sorry I am not in total frame here it's gonna be hot ouch and I went ahead and made some little beads when I was off camera pop those in And that's it for plunging. I'll be back when I fix them up. Also, real quick, um, I only leave them in for about a minute or so, just until they're cooled off. And then I put them right on this towel here and dry them up, and then I take them outside to work on them. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. <clears throat> so here's how this turned out. Hopefully you can see. All resined up, made it into a little necklace. Um, these I like a lot. I'll be making earrings out of those. See if you can see it without the glare in there. And then these are the other ones. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but like you can really see the brown and the sparkle and everything else in there. So they turned out really nice. Um, so I will put a link to those few things. Um, if I can find a link for the eyelets uh, that I use, I'll do that also. Um, <clears throat> it's almost the end of the month, so treysclay.com, T-R-E-Y-S clay.com, uh, the $15, $15 mystery mix bags end at the end of the month, and the $10 every day for all jewelry ends at the end of the month as well. Don't forget to join Happy Place Studio Polymer Clay Group on uh, Facebook. I'll put a link to that as well. And I will. you'll see me tomorrow. I'm going to do another one tomorrow. Have a great day. See ya. Bye.